Yeah, DB. Oh, just cleaning out the deadwood. Okay. Look, Mr. Cannell, I just can't afford to be without work right now, not even for a day. I've got a mother and two kids, sister. More good luck telegrams. Well, you know how it is. I, I've just got to keep on working, see? Sorry, sister. I was sent down here to clean house. I told you I can't use your column anymore. It's lavender and no lace. Send those other people in. I'll tell you what I'll do. I, I get $30 a week. I'll take 25 20 if necessary. I'll do anything you say. It isn't the money. We're after circulation. What we need is fireworks. People have been hit with sledgehammers. Start arguments. Oh, I can do that. I know this town inside out. Oh, give me a chance, All please. right, come in, come in, come in. Okay, she has got your check. Who are these people? Gibbs, Frawley, Cunningham, Giles. Hey, your sister. Don't forget to get out your last column before you pick up your check. Stick shine or collar, man. Big rich slob like D.B. Norton buys a paper and 40 heads are chopped off. Did you get it, too? Yeah. You, too? Oh, Joe. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Why don't we tear the building down? Before you do, Ann, perhaps you'd better finish this column. Yeah, lavender and old lace. Wait, Joe. Wait. Wants fireworks, huh? Okay. Here. Below is a letter which reached my desk this morning. It's a commentary on what we laughingly call a civilized world. Dear Miss Mitchell, four years ago, I was fired out of my job. Since then, I haven't been able to get another one. At first, I was sore at the state administration because it's on account of the slimy politics here. We have all this unemployment. But in looking around, it seems the whole world's going to pot. So in protest, I'm going to commit suicide by jumping off the city hall roof. Signed, a disgusted American citizen, John Doe. Editor's note, if you ask this column, the wrong people are jumping off the roofs. Hey, and this is the old fake roo, isn't it? Never mind that, Joe. Go ahead. What's your name? Willoughby. John Willoughby. Long John Willoughby, they called me in baseball. Um, would you, uh, would you like to make some money? Yeah. Maybe. Would you be willing to say you wrote that letter and stick by it? Mm, I get the idea. Yeah. Maybe. He's made to order. Uh -huh.
strong enough, we'll find out what John Doe wants. 30 every Thursday, 60 at 60. Who knows what? I'm sorry, boss. They just won't let anybody talk politics to them. It's crazy. We've got to get to them. They represent millions of voters. Sorry, folks, but we can't hear him anymore. Something's gone wrong with the loudspeakers. Those are fake! Boo! They, they can't hear me. Boo! This thing's not working. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 